Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to make logo animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, welcome back and first step, let's create new background layer, right mouse, new and solid layer. Let's add name background and click this icon for select background color. Click OK and let's delete this color layer and lock background layer. Okay, then go to text and let's write here bold. Click session tool and go to enable title action save and go to window, enable align, click this icon and this icon for move to object to center. Okay, so select this bolt, let's control D and let's double click, write B, click session tool and let's move to down and this is simple text, let's add name, simple and lock layer. Select B and let's see, okay, and let's control R Let's go to here, hold left mouse and let's add one line. Okay, let's zoom to here. Move like this. Okay, let's select this B and let's control D. Let's move to right. Let's double click, right O, click selection tool. And again, go to here, left mouse and let's create new line. And select this O, let's move to right like this okay and select this all let's control d again and move to right let's double click right l click tool and let's add new line and select l let's move right okay and again let's control d for duplicate and move to right double click right t click tool and let's add again new line Let's see, let's move to left and select this T, let's put here, okay. So, in this time, let's select this B and let's select palm behind, move to anchor point, center. And select this O, let's again move to anchor point, center. And select L, move to center. And finally select T and move to center anchor point. Click session tool. Okay, let's see. Nice. And let's select this bold text. Let's move it up. Okay, and let's go to here. Let's add new line here. Nice. Let's hide layers. Let's see original text. Okay, nice. So let's hide simple text and enable all layers. Select first B and let's select all text layers. Let's move it down like this. Okay. So let's control R, close this part and select B. Let's press P and move it down. Make new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down or click here, write plus 10. Click OK and let's move to up this text. Let's move to down a little bit and go to 10 j frame again and let's move to down. Let's zoom to here. Move to down like this. OK and right now let's go to 3 j frame 1, 2, 3. For shortcut you can use page down in keyboard and let's Move it up a little bit. Go to 3 keyframe again. 1, 2, 3. Select this keyframe. Copy pass. And select all keyframes. Let's make easy ease or click F9. Okay, let's see animation. Okay. So we have problem with last keyframes. Last 3 keyframes. And let's select all keyframes. Right mouse. Go to keyframe interpolation. Change color settings to linear. Click OK. Let's say again. OK. So, select all keyframes again. Go to click this icon for open graph editor. And let's select this graph. 
let's make graph like this for falling object let's see okay that's good and let's back to chair frames and go to first second select this b hold shift press r open rotation and make rotate chair frame change rotation minus six and go to here change three and go to here change minus one that five and go to here change one and go to last shape frame change zero so there are more chip frames for bones animation and realistic falling let's make chip frames easy let's see very nice okay select all chip frames let's control c for copy and close keyframe settings go to first second select other text layers and let's control v let's see okay so select the layer all let's press p go to last position keyframes that is very important select all position keyframes and move to right let's zoom to here let's move to right okay let's enable simple text and let's unlock go to text let's change color for see difference let's change blue and select this all select all position keyframes. frames and in last keyframe, frame let's move to left like this let's see nice so let's close select this l press p go to again last position keyframes. frames select all position keyframes, frames and move to right let's see okay and finally select this layer t and press p select position keyframes, frames and move to right with keyframes. frames okay nice so select this simple text and let's delay it okay let's see okay so let's go first second and select this layer all and go to three keyframe, frame one two three and move to right this layer go to three keyframe frame again one two three select layer l move to right and select layer t go to three keyframe, frame one two three move to right let's see okay so let's go to last keyframes frames here and go to shape layers hold this icon select rounded rectangle tool let's zoom to here and select white color fill and stroke zero and let's change fill background color click ok and let's make like this shape layer click session tool and select the shape layer let's link to layer all let's see okay so select the shape layer and in this time let's open inside open rectangle one and rectangle pet one click this size icon and make size shape frame go to here some shape frames and let's change size for morphing to ellipse tool okay and let's select shape frames make easy let's go to solo okay and go to graph editor select this graph let's make graph like this nice back to chain frames and go to here and in this time let's press p make new person chain frame press u for see all active chain frames and go to last chain frame and let's move to down let's unsolo let's see okay select person chain frames make easy let's animation again okay so let's hide background okay and in this time select this size last keyframe. frame let's move to left okay go to here let's move to down again and select all keyframes. frames move to right select these two passing keyframes. frames go to graph editor and let's make graph like this change with bit for smooth okay not bad back to chain frames and in this time 
make size keyframe again go to here and let's change size like this and change k let's see okay select keyframes go to graph editor and let's zoom to graph select this and let's make graph for smooth animation and this okay that's good back to keyframes and in this time make new passing keyframe go to last keyframe and move to up and we can move to right this let's control air let's add new line for t okay and let's change size like this let's write okay let's change a little bit size 3 or 4 let's see okay not bad so in this time let's unhide background and go to here select this shape let's open inside and open rectangle one and open fill i want to change color let's in this time make color keyframe and go to here change color white click ok say keyframes make easies let's see okay that's good So let's close settings and select shape layer. Let's control D. Move to back here and press U. Let's delete all keyframes. Click for close. And let's go to fill. Select white color. And move to behind. Let's see. Nice. And let's select this. Press U. And let's select color keyframes. Let's move to here. Okay, that's good. So let's close JFrame settings and create new null object. Right mouse, new and null object. Hold Control, double click here for move to anchor point center. Clicization tool, move to center like this. And select these text layers. Let's link to null. And select this null. Let's see. I want to add some dynamic keyframes and let's press P, make new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. Let's move to down, go to 10 keyframe again, move to up, again go to 10 keyframe, move to down and again go to 10 keyframe, move to back. Say keyframes, make easiest. Let's see. Okay, select these all keyframes. Hold Alt, move to left. Let's see again. Okay, let's see timing. Select the keyframes, move to left. Nice. Okay, not bad. Let's press N and select work area. Control R for close this part. And let's hold with left mouse this line and move to left. And this and this lines and this line and close title action save and close null keyframes select all layers and click for motion blur and let's animation okay nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram Good luck.